So in season one of The Flash, we were introduced to Leonard Snart, aka Captain Cold, and ever since then he has been, you know, recognized as a Flash character, but he has, you know, delved into Legends of Tomorrow after moving there around halfway through season two. But in seasons one and two, or the beginning half of season two, might I say, he was a pretty cool character to have around, possible pun intended there, you know, just being that recurring sort of antagonist for Barry without being the actual main villain for the respective season. Obviously, in Legends of Tomorrow in Season 1, he was literally a main character of the season, and in Season 2, he did show up later down the track to sort of like, you know, be in the Legion of Doom, but also not be in the Legion of Doom at the same time. Now, we are a decent amount into Season 3 of Legends, as well as the rest of the, you know, new seasons of all the Arrowverse shows, and in this season of Legends, we are meant to be getting a new version of Leonard Snart. Uh, they have said, basically, he's sort of like the opposite of what we uh, have known to like know of uh, Leonard Snart since we've met him, so that's going to be very interesting to see what that is. But they did actually release the synopsis for episode eight of all the shows. The synopsis is the exact same for all of the episodes because if they release like the different synopsises, if that's the correct way to say it, then it would sort of spoil too much of the crossover. So really, they just give like a big summation of what the crossover is all about, and they just give that as the description for all of the episode eights of all the shows. Now in the synopsis, they do reveal some pretty cool stuff, so we will go over it. But before that, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most from the crossover, as well as anything I mentioned in this video, because after I go over the synopsis, I'm gonna be talking about some other stuff, some spoilery stuff possibly, but I will warn you when I get up to that bit. Be sure to leave all your opinions down there, as well as being sure to leave a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Barry and Iris's wedding brings the gang together, but things go awry when villains from Earth X attack the ceremony. All of the superheroes band together with help from their super friends like Citizen Cold, The Ray, Felicity Smoke, Iris West and Alex Danvers to take on their most formidable villains yet. Earth's mightiest heroes, Green Arrow, Supergirl, The Flash and White Canary lead their teams into battle to save the world. Now, the first thing to go over from this synopsis is, of course, the West Allen wedding or the wedding between both Barry Allen and Iris West. Now, we knew this wedding was coming up, obviously, in, I think it's episode seven, we're actually going to be seeing, like, Iris sort of, like, stressing about the wedding, and we did see in episode three, I think it was, or four, I think I'm going to say it was three, we did see Iris wanting to sort of marry Barry as quickly as possible because she thought they were like things would go wrong and they would actually never tie the knot. But obviously something goes wrong here and the Earth X villains attack the ceremony. We did see some set pictures from like two or three or maybe even a month ago, two or three weeks ago, maybe even a month, where it did show a church being emptied, Iris running out in a wedding dress, looking a bit upset and uh, yeah, so that's most likely the scene as what's going on there. And even in that short little teaser for the crossover they released earlier this week, we do see some stuff in a church slightly. We do see some like fighting with the Earth X soldiers. So you would have to think that is connected to the wedding. But the next big thing to take from this uh, description or synopsis for the crossover is that they actually name drop Citizen Cold. Like that's what Leonard Snyder is going to be in this crossover. It's no longer Captain Cold. It is Citizen's, uh, Citizen Cold, which is awesome. Now, you might be wondering, okay, what's Citizen Cold? Like, why isn't he just, like, Captain Cold? Like, Captain Cold doesn't sound that evil, so why do they have to change the name to Citizen Cold? Well, I'm assuming they didn't have to, but this is obviously a massive nod to the Flashpoint version of Leonard Snart, who was actually sort of a hero. Like, if you just watch the animated movie, you think he's just, like, a hero of Central City, but if you've read, like, the Flashpoint comic arc with Citizen Cold... He's not all that, so they could tie that into this um, version of Leonard Snart. Like, he's good, but he's not all that good. Like, he does have other, other motives, might I say. Or they could just make it that he's, like, a full-on good version of Captain Cold, and they've just decided to use the Citizen Cold name to sort of, like, differenti uh, differentiate sorry, between the two. Now, in regards to when we meet this version of Citizen Cold, um, he's obviously not in Legends yet, so I'm assuming we will meet him in the episode before the crossover. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know, we could just meet him in the crossover, but that just sort of feels rushed. I have a feeling he will just come back with the legends, but they could make it that he is possibly from Earth X. They could, you know, tie that in. They could just tie it in that Citizen Cold, this version of Leonard Snart is from Earth X. But the thing is, is that uh, Wentworth Miller, who plays Leonard Snart, aka Captain Cold, aka Citizen Cold, did film some Legends episodes after this. So he is in Legends following the crossover. I don't know for how long, because apparently he is leaving the show again. Uh, I don't know if he'll come back, but we're not going to dive into that in this video. But he is appearing in Legends episodes after this, so you would think he would appear in a Legends episode beforehand. But... We'll have to wait and see what goes on there, but he is now known as Citizen Cold in this crossover. 
As you can see here, he does have like, or as you would have seen in the video, he has a different getup, a different costume, which, you know, once again, to differentiate between the two characters. But um, I'm excited to see what they do with him and how he acts, because as I said, they did say that um, he was basically going to be the opposite of what we have seen with Captain Cold. So that makes me think this is going to be like a fun character to watch. And I'm excited or very excited, might I say, to see that unfold. The next thing from the synopsis to talk about is actually the Ray, who is a hero from Earth X. So he is a hero from the same Earth that these villains are from, from Earth X. Now, he is a part of a group called the Freedom Fighters. There is obviously an animated show coming out called Freedom Fighters the Ray. Like, the Ray is the focus of that animated series, but there are other characters associated with Earth X and that are going to be in that show. Now, we have seen one, like, set photo of the Ray. It was most likely the stunt double, but you do get, like, a sort of a decent look at his, like, costume, I guess. Now, I'm not too sure how relevant he was going to be to this crossover, whether he's only going to be showing up every now and then, or if he's going to be, like, a main stay of the team versus the Earth X villains. We'll have to wait and see about that. But in regards to more Freedom Fighters, a lot of people have been asking me, like, hey, we're getting the Ray, but are we going to get more of the Freedom Fighters from Earth X? Like, we did see Red Tornado and stuff in that animated feature, so are we going to get them in the crossover? And my answer to that is probably not, but we might get, like, name drops. Like, they might name drop Red Tornado and other uh, characters like that. So, listen out for that in the crossover. A uh, crossover, might I say, but in regards to them actually showing up... I would be very, very surprised if they did just because it's more money that the show would have to spend or the shows would have to spend and they don't really have to do that. Like we have enough heroes in this crossover. It's not like there, you know, there's a shortage of heroic people in this crossover. So I think we might just get the Ray from Earth X, but they will most likely just name drop other heroes from Earth X and that were a part of the Freedom Fighters. Now, another thing from the synopsis that is mentioned that a lot of people have been asking me about as well is Alex Danvers. Now, Alex Danvers is apparently meant to have a pretty big involvement with this crossover. Now, I'm not too sure if it's necessarily just about her, but apparently from what I've heard, don't like quote me on this later down the track after the crossover is, but it's like a, there's a story arc in this crossover between the Danvers sisters. Like, I don't know if it's like some sort of reconnection thing, maybe the episode before this on Supergirl, they like disconnect in some way and this crossover is used to, you know, bring them closer together. I'm not too sure, but she is the main like side character, if you want to call it, coming from Supergirl um, in this crossover. Wynn is apparently meant to be in this crossover in some way. I'm assuming he's going to be helping with like the tech side of things with like um, Felicity and stuff like that. We'll have to see in regards to that. But in regards to other characters, I don't know if they're coming over. Like, I think it's a wasted opportunity to not have Martian Manhunter in this goddamn crossover. Like, I just think it's a wasted opportunity. But they might have it like, oh, okay, we've got one alien in the form of Supergirl. We don't, make it, don't want to make it too overpowered with having Martian Manhunter in there as well. But I know a lot of people will be disappointed by the fact that Jon Jones, aka Martian Manhunter, won't be in this crossover. He could still be. Like, he could make a surprise appearance towards the end. I just know he isn't a main... Um, focus of the crossover. It's Alex Danvers mainly from Supergirl. Now, one big question a lot of people have had is why are Earth X actually attacking Earth 1? And my simplest answer to that is that Earth 1 is probably the most powerful Earth like alongside Earth X. Like it has all these, like the Flash, Green Arrow, or well, not Supergirl, I guess that's Earth 38. But you know what I mean? Like it has all these heroes. So maybe Earth X thought, okay, we'll take out our nearest rival and then we can maybe try and conquer the multiverse i really don't know what's going on here because as from what it sounds like they just attack earth one like there's no real uh reason like previously like it's not like the ray would come to earth one or something asking for their help and like earth x is like oh stuff it we're the villains we're going to take the fight over to earth one and try and eliminate the opposition over there so I wouldn't really know why they're attacking Earth-1 exactly, but my guess would be just, you know, trying to eliminate competition before Earth-1 goes over to Earth-X to try and take them down then, I guess. That's just my best guess, but let me know in the comments section down below what you think uh, about why you think uh, Earth-X are attacking Earth-1. Now, the last thing I wanted to save until the end of the video, it's a spoiler. Like, don't continue on if you don't want to be spoiled because now there's not 100% proof that this is happening, but these are like quote unquote leaked set photos. There have been things like this before where like the, the like the, the production uh, people on the shows do put like fake things there to like sort of mislead people, but this was on set. Um, so yeah, don't continue if you don't want any spoilers. So I'm going to give it a couple of seconds. I'm just going to talk some random stuff now, like blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's continue. So, 
let's look at these photos here. Now I need to shout out Real World of Flash. I think that's the Instagram account. I will leave it linked in the description below. They're the ones that posted these pictures. I don't know if they had a source beforehand. You think they would have, but yeah. So go to their Instagram page and you will see like the post there and there might be some more sources there. But as you can see, this is a funeral or a tombstone for Felicity Smoke, along with a casket with the Star of David on it. As we know, Felicity Smoke is Jewish. So I don't know if this is a, like a custom when a Jewish person dies and they put the Star of David on their um, casket or their coffin. So I'm not too sure if that is a custom. If it is, let me know. Now, I guess the big thing around this is that I don't think it's from the crossover. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this wouldn't be from the crossover if it is Earth One Felicity. Now, a lot of people might be going, oh, hallelujah, praise to the Lord, Felicity is dead. Arrow is saved, Felicity is dead. I know a lot of people will be saying that, but there is still a chance that this is from the crossover and it's actually Earth X Felicity that they've put, like this is this like the, the grave for Earth X Felicity. Um, but it does seem like they're having a funeral. Like it's not like it's like an empty, like, you know, it's a dug grave. Like there's, um, or it's a filled grave, might I say, and it's just the tombstone. Like this is a dug up grave and it looks like they're having a funeral. So this makes me think it could possibly be Earth 1 Felicity because why would they bother showing us the funeral for Earth X Felicity with like a coffin being like lowered into the, um, the grave? Like it doesn't make sense to me. Because as we are led to believe in it, what's most likely going to happen is that Felicity and Oliver do get married at the end of the crossover, along with Iris and Barry. So Iris and Barry's initial wedding is ruined by the Earth X villains attacking. And then towards or right at the end of the crossover, Oliver and Felicity have like a joint wedding with both with um, Barry and Iris and like Diggle's like the the reverend, if you want to call it that, or like the the marriage seal. I don't know what you'd call it. Like, I'm like losing the term. I, I can't remember at the moment. But I don't want to look too deep into this because I don't want to make any like massive predictions or like thinking that this is 100% going to happen. I'm chucking that out there. I'm just showing you these pictures. So do let me know in the comment section but, uh, down below. Do you think that this is Earth 1 Felicity's funeral? Like it could be in episode 9 or 10 of Arrow. Do you think that Felicity is actually going to die? Or do you think this is Earth X Felicity and they're just going to show it in the crossover? The only reason I think it might not be Earth X Felicity is the fact that why would they show us the funeral for Earth X Felicity Smoke? Wouldn't they just show us the tombstone? Why do we need to see like the actual like burial of the coffin? It makes no sense to me. But yeah, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of that. But thanks for watching, guys. I know this was a bit of a longer video. I just had to like talk about a lot of things, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it to show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below on all the different things I've said, like uh, what are your thoughts on Citizen Cold, the Ray, like why Earth X is attacking Earth 1, and of course the Felicity Smokes.